How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on, people? Okay, now I want you to Google this man's name. Your name is Zell. So I want you to put in Google so you can get an idea what he looks like. And if you want to put, you can put Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Reunion Part 2. Zell Sucker Punches Mr. Ray. Now this is the thing. I don't know if you know, but I'm going to share this with you and stuff. I saw it. And Love and Hip Hop Police allegedly looking for Zell after the brawl with Mr. Ray on Season 4 Reunion. This is being reported back in September 22nd. And of course... This is the thing that was seen before. The Love and Hip Hop Hollywood films in season four reunion this week, and you expected things to go like a California wildfire. We already reported that Alexis Sky, Baby Mama Bombshell, and the fight with Masika was allegedly ducked because of it, but different brawl from the same taping making major headlines. The Love and Hip Hop Zell and Mr. Ray fight actually comes to, as no surprise, aren't hats. A two almost come to blows after I mean during the episode last week episode that the reunion outfit um, photos at the top of article that the um, good people over love and hip-hop quick described the brawl uh, apparently begin after a little fakery on Zell's part Zell and Ray are going back and forth and claiming that Zell wanted to hug out but then Zell went and Zell went to hug him. He faked it and he punched him, scratched him, and kicked Ray. Now the thing is that Zell versus um Mr. Ray happened on Love and Hill Singer for a reunion tape was last night. Well it was last night, but this is what the article is saying as far as that. Since then, through the scenes that things have gotten a bit more serious that the reunion was filmed in New York and the NYPD are reportedly interested in talking to Zell about what went down naturally as TNZ cameras found Zell asked him about the comments and Zell broke down the whole thing in the front of the um you know the viewer and stuff. Some unfortunate things happened that I wish didn't happen, Zell said. Nothing that he couldn't say too much as well as being watched on the union. Find out more to add it. I'm a man enough to own up to the things that I did. I wish everyone else was man enough to own up to the things that they did. I have literally did nothing to Mr. Ray. He just trying to be super dirty on the show when I just tried to keep it real. Surface talks about the appearance and stuff. And upon being told that Ray allegations filed some sort of charge with the um, police, Zell seems resented sign and saying that though, if it is true, I don't mind. I don't mind turning myself in and handling my business. I'll be what it is. It'll be what it is. Zell seems much more upbeat about the whole thing immediately following his role on the tape and here on Instagram updated about the two as still glam as far as the reunion outfit you know so um you could basically go on his um zell's instagram is called zell swag and basically um you can listen to the stuff he has to say and stuff and you know basically um mr ray did put zell versus mr ray and you know it's really sad it's unfortunate stuff like i said before you could google it and look and you actually see the fight itself they told them to hug it out and stuff because kind of want the living union to leave on a positive note, you know. And it's sad because these are two gay out men that are out there in the front of the community and stuff. And just because they get on me, they get along and we get that and stuff. And the thing about it is that Zell's been very angry and they've been through the whole video stuff. He's been kind of doing a lot of mischievous, mean things and stuff. So, to be a surprise that he would do something like this, I don't understand why people are so surprised. He has been very accurate as far as being mean. Now, the thing that gets me is that, in just my opinion, Mr. Ray, you know, if you knew you had a problem with him and he was going in for the hug, sweetie, why would you sit down? You was like, well, I didn't want to stand up so like I didn't believe him. But, baby, if you didn't believe him, why would you sit down? You know, as a person, as a color person of color, we know that when someone has a problem with us and they're coming up towards us, 
we know to stand up. Well, I'm not saying that, you know, we're expecting something bad to happen, but at the end of the day, when someone want to give me a hug and we want to hug it out, I'm standing up. Because this person has been showing so much anger towards me, and I'm talking about, you know, just my opinion. They sowed so much anger towards me through the whole season and stuff, and I watched, and I'm sure you watched it too, his reaction to a lot of different things. So when he's walking towards you and you sat down, baby, never turn your back on enemy. Never walk away when someone is arguing with you. Never give them the benefit of the doubt. And the thing about it is that I would expect that from him. I would expect it. And you say you were, you didn't get stand up and give him a hug because you didn't believe him. But baby, if you didn't believe him, why the hell did you sit down? You could have just gave him a pound, a handshake, or something to keep him back away from you. But then again, maybe you're not built from that cloth and stuff. You might be one of the good guys and stuff that just, you know, um, just not like that and stuff. But you said your guard was up and always trust your first judgment and stuff, you know. Unfortunately, I'm cut from that cloth that I have trust issues, which you already know. And if somebody come up on me and have a problem with me, baby, let me say something. I'm ready. I may get my ass beat, but baby, you better believe his ass gonna be or his ass gonna be beat just as bad as mine. I don't give a fuck if I lost the fight, but baby, I'm gonna tell you one thing. We're gonna both suffer some goddamn bruises. We be some scrap a lap of motherfuckers inside that fucking place. But at the end of the goddamn day, I will not be sitting down on the fucking couch. Why you punching me on my goddamn face and I can't even get my ass up. And it's just a warning to anybody who gets out there. You have an altercation with anybody. My thing is this. When somebody don't like you, believe them. If they coming towards you, baby, you stand up. You may not win the fight or you may whip, whip their motherfucking ass because of nervous energy. Because they're a powerful motherfucking energy. I beat the shit out of many motherfucking guys. I thought my ass was going to stomp on the ground. Built guys. And I turned the motherfucking road, road around. Baby, when that adrenaline rust catches in, if you know what adrenaline rust is, is when, you know, like a person gets in a car and a car falls over and her kids are inside. So she found the strength to lift that damn car, but she pushed that fucking car over to get her babies out. Baby, that adrenaline rust will make you whoop somebody's ass. Baby, when you come through, you gonna beat the shit out of this person. You be like, oh my God, it was. You be shocked your damn self. But at the end of the day and stuff, I'm going to put the link down at the bottom if, um, you know, you can see for yourself as far as the punching and stuff. You know, you could Google this stuff. I'm sure there could be scenes of people showing and stuff. Anyway, that being said, I want to hear a feedback on this. Would you have sat down knowing this person hated you? Or you would have thought it was really a sincere hug and stuff? And here it is at the end of the day. You end up bleeding and stuff. You're like, I'm going to get press charged and stuff. But at the end of the day, never turn your back on someone who showed you they hate towards you. Never believe them. Some people are genuine, but a lot of people are not. Anybody been said, I love your feedback on this. I want to say I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain.